At House & Home, we work with paint all the time, but how often do we get to go straight to the factory and see where it's made? I'm excited to check out Home Hardware's Beauty Tone Paint Factory here in Burford, Ontario, to see how it all comes together and get some answers to common paint questions. So tell me about what you guys do here. So this is one of the most modern paint manufacturing facilities in North America, and we have about a quarter million square feet of facility. We manufacture several lines of paint that's exclusive to Home Hardware here at this facility, all under the Beauty Tone brand. Like fun? No, 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 don't do it. No, no, no. So how many paint cans come out of this factory on a daily basis? On average, it'd probably be about 5 million gallons a year, and it's all over Canada, right from Vancouver Island to Newfoundland up to Yellowknife. We even have a store in Nunavut. There seems to be a really fun science experiment happening downstairs. What's going on? Well, we have 14 lab personnel doing all kinds of research work, development of product, as well as quality assurance and quality control. So all of our product is tested three times before it's released and every fifth batch of a product that we make we go through some more rigorous testing to ensure the quality standards are still in place. Mm. Ah. Mm. So Bev, what's the difference between the Natura Designer Series and Signature Series paints? It's very simple and there's something for every project. The Designer Series is our premium line and it gives you a great painting experience. And then our go-to line, which has a lot of different sheens and different products, is our Signature Series. And our Natura Series is our No VOC, No Odor Paint. Now I've also heard that some people like putting vanilla in their paints. I know! When we used to paint with oil paints, they'd often put a little bit of vanilla in the paint and it did mask it. But with today's paints, it's just not necessary. We get a lot of questions about paint finishes. And aside from the aesthetic look of them, is there a reason why you would choose one finish over another? There is. The matte really hides imperfections. So you know if you've got that bad drywall job, try to stick to low sheen finishes. The higher the sheen, like a high gloss, it's really great for stain removal. So very, very durable. So in a very high traffic area, perfect. I love using the paint and primer formula, but does it work on all materials? It's a great product, but some materials are really hard to have paint stick to it, like glass or ceramic tile. In that case, I find that if you use a good primer and a top coat, you'll get the best results. Reiko, we're going to get you to make paint now. I thought we were making cupcakes. No, absolutely not. This is paint for the wall. Okay. Be great. So we have water in the beaker. That's great. We've already got it stirring. It started. Start going here into the pigment. So this is our titanium dioxide. Adds wonderful hide and whiteness to a can of paint. Oh, lovely. Ooh. Now next is an extender pigment. So this adds some other characteristics to paint, allows it to brush a little easier. And that's the thickener that goes into the can of paint. So that's gonna help give it the body and help with the dispersion of everything together. And next, we have the resin. And this is the glue that's gonna hold everything together and provide a great paint film. Look at it go. There. So the next is the glycol and coalescent. So this gives it like film formation and open time in the paint film. And the next is the defoamer. Keep all the bubbles down and so on in the paint oh. film. Because that's never very good. There we go. Perfect. There, we've got a can of paint. Wow. Excellent. Let me speed this up. I feel like a mad scientist. Ah. Bev, I need to know who gets to name all the paint colors? Because it sounds like a really fun job to have. It is such fun. What we do here is we just get a group of creative people and we go into the boardroom and we don't come out until they're all done. And we get some really fun names. Because color is personality and the names got to match the personalities. And you know, people really identify with the names and it makes them laugh and they enjoy the paint color more. Yeah. Well, seeing as we're here at the plant, yes. do you think I could custom make my own color? Of course, you know what? You can color match anything and you need a color named after you. I do. <laughs> well, that's perfect, because I brought this fabulous piece of fabric, and I would love to have this coral as a paint. Oh, yes, definitely. So there's a couple of ways to get the color. The one way, and it's portable, is it's capture union. All our stores have it. Mm -hmm. So you can take it anywhere you want in the world and get the nearest beauty tone color to it. Great. So since you're here, we have the ability to do custom match, and most of our stores do have custom match capabilities throughout the store. Okay. But this will be your color. The only one Perfect. in the world. Perfect. It's very easy. You just slip it under the spectrophotometer. You can see where it's going to match the color by the little circle. And now we just go over to the computer and begin. Oh. 
Bing bong. So it's got magenta in it, white and red oxide to make that color. Are you ready? Sure am. Oh, yeah. It's interesting. It's going to be a lot lighter wet than when it dries. So let's dry some. I'm going to put the sample on for you. There we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so what do you think? Perfect match. I, I love it. it. I love it. What are you going to call this gorgeous color? I think I need to call this Ray Coral. Brilliant. <laughs>